Five niches for low content KDP books. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creative B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to go through the top five niches that you can create for low content books. If you stay to the end, I'm also going to reveal a six niche. Q4 is coming towards us. What is Q4? It's the fourth quarter of the year, also known as quarter four. October the 1st to December 31st is the period when this Q4 happens. It is also the time when no and low content booksellers sell the most. And in December alone, you can make as much as the whole year in one month. So you need to get ready for quarter four for the good ride that comes along with it. Reason for this, why Q4 is good is because it has some good seasons. It has Halloween, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and of course Christmas, so people are out there buying gifts and activities to keep people busy. Now, with COVID, there are lots of schools that are still not going back. They are doing online education, still doing Zoom, parents are still home educating, and they want to keep their kids busy. But they still want to do the themes of Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. So this is the period when you can start creating different books for them. So the first one we're going to cover is Halloween. So you can create different types of Halloween books. Coloring books is a big niche, but it's not just aimed at kids. You can also aim your coloring Halloween books at adults. And surprisingly enough, these books actually sell throughout the year, especially if you're looking at Gothic type of coloring books. Go to Amazon and I've just typed in Halloween books in all categories and it's brought me all the things for kids but if I put in gothic Halloween coloring books you can see that there's only 20, 218 results but yet we've got quite high rankings nightmare book gothic coloring book and if we go into this I'm just making sure it's not sponsored because I don't like clicking on sponsored ads when I'm only doing research. So if we have a look at Helium 10 here, this book has been for sale since, since when was it published? 2016, and it's not a KDP book, but if you have a look here at the sales rate, it, it, it keeps going down, it keeps, it stays in and it doesn't matter. This is August, but it would be Let's have a look. All time. Let's click on all time. And this is when it was launched. That's not Halloween in July. Over there. January, July here as well. So you can see that it is constantly selling for the last four years. So that is just one of the niches that you could go for. Back at the presentation. So we've had a quick look at colouring books. The next one is activity books. Again, aim not just at kids, but also aim at adults and niche down. What type of adults is there who enjoy activity books? And activity books can include things like puzzles, like word search, Sudoku, crossword, mazes, dot to dot, hidden pictures, spot the difference. There is a load of them and you can create all types of books that either combine them or just specialize in one of those areas. Next one, cookery books. Halloween is all about the different types of candy, different types of joy that people have, like toffee apples and candy corn. People need to know how to make these, or you can design something totally different that's also in the Halloween theme. So you could do monster cakes, zombie cakes, zombie cookies, and create a recipe book about things like that. And not only can the recipe book be a paperback, it can also be an e-book. Then there's planners. People like planners for all sorts. So you can create a Halloween themed planner that allows people to plan for their different parties, house decorations, themes, and costumes. And don't forget that they might not be the same trick or treating that's going on this year. So what sort of things are people gonna be planning for their little parties? Are they gonna be planning Zoom parties? I don't know, don't know how it's gonna work. And then you can do notebook for a Halloween theme. Again, do your research, go to Amazon, have a look, see if they are there, see if you can niche it down. Then our next one is kids' books. Kids' books of any sort, 
and especially if they're themed, kids like gory. Gorier the better. One of the top British children's books writer, David Walliams, has said that some of the books he read as a child were even more gory than what he writes. And they're pretty gory. But kids love them. They love things about farting. They love things about getting back at their teachers. And don't forget, you could also do early learning where kids can be taught how to write the word pumpkin or match pumpkins to witches and cats. Let your brain go wild with ideas. There are just so many of them out of there. Now, Christmas is another big area. And yes, it is already selling. I went to one of the local shops near me and their Christmas stuff was out in the aisle. At this point in time, the kids hadn't even gone back to school. And yes, they're going back to school in the UK. So you can create different types of Christmas books, just like with Halloween. You can create colouring books, activity books, cookery books. Again, all different types of meals to cook, not just the turkey but what sorts of desserts do people like you could just do a christmas desserts book or christmas party tasting book might not sell this year with covid who knows planners again for planning your gifts meals parties people like to write lists down of different things so if you can do something like a christmas to do book and notebooks with christmas theme and this time i've put christmas coloring books for adults but there's over six thousand results so you need to actually try and get that down to under a thousand but i bet you could do with something like rain dear i don't think i spelled that right rain dear i haven't rain reindeer we're down to 117 results. That is just a keyword that you can put in your back end or even in your subtitle. And make sure you do actually have some reindeers in. Look at this one, 110,000 is already selling at that. So what is it gonna be like when it gets nearer to Christmas? Christmas magic, again, this is a, this Christmas magic was actually published after Christmas. Yes, it's not selling very well, but it might improve towards Christmas. Again, that spiral bound. Uh, yes, this is independently published. It's by Jade Summer, who is a well-known colouring book artist. In fact, I think it's a company that does it, but their publishing name's Jade. And it's the same with Joanna Bassford here. She is one of the top colouring book artists of all time. I think she was one of the leads when it, it really took off for adults. And she's a lovely woman as well. There's some really great tutorials on Facebook. Adult coloring books, cute Christmas. Look at that, under 100,000 already. So you can be doing different things. So that is Christmas coloring books. But like I say, you can do Christmas planners. So let's go up here and do a search for Christmas. I can't spell today. No stress holiday organizer. Selling for $14.99. Yep, the Christmas planner. This is not independently published, but it's still the same. 41,000 people are already planning their Christmas. They're already buying things as well because they don't know about delivery times. Christmas project. Um, Christmas planner there, create space. This is old, 2017. Uh, let's have a look at this. 899. Uh, 304, but 216 in the Christmas books. And look at that. Even in August, look how it's gone down. It was below 77,000. So that is keep coming at the beginning, middle of August. So that. And it's just a simple planner. This book, it's not going to be planning. So it's also an activity book as well. So countdown, you can do colouring. Look out if they keep it black and white to do Monday and Tuesday. Just a simple, nice planner that you can be inspired by and create your own. So, so Thanksgiving. 
Again, you can create different types of Thanksgiving book. Are you getting the message here? Coloring books. Again, yes, Thanksgiving coloring books. The theme is there. What can you do for Thanksgiving? Loads of pumpkins, winter things, fall things. That's what people think about when it's Thanksgiving. They think about warming up by the fire, having hot chocolate and marshmallows or um, spice lattes pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin pie, anything to do like that. Activity books, again, mix them up, have coloring sheets, puzzles, dot to dot, mazes, cookery books. Yes, people like to cook for Thanksgiving and they like to know how to do different things. Again, planners, Thanksgiving planners, planning your party, your house decorations, your meals, notes books, notebooks with Thanksgiving theme. Yes, I saw a notebook with a pumpkin on that is selling really well, the fourth niche, diaries, planners and calendars. Well, this year, 2020, people are wanting to forget. So they're already buying 2021 planners and diaries. As well as people like to plan and have the events already booked, they like to write it down. They like to put it somewhere. Not everybody likes digital planners. They don't like it being on the phone. They'd rather have it written down because it is proven fact that if you write something down, you're more likely to remember it than if you just type it in have different themes, have cute animals on your diaries or your planners, have puzzle diaries, mix them up, have things that people can do like word searches, Sudoku, crossword, crisscross, any of those sort of things. Cookery diaries. I haven't actually seen any of these, but it could be a great idea. You could have a meal of the month or different themes. So November, you could have something about cooking the turkey or creating a pumpkin pie in December. Again, you could have, well, you could do turkey in December. And then in October, it could be about creating candy canes or toffee apples. In the summer, it could be something to do with, I don't know, kebabs or barbecues, anything like that. Then student, teacher, homeschooling planner. You could also do a online teacher planner, an online student planner. And I don't mean the book is actually online. I mean that you can put things like what they need to set up for their Zoom meetings, uh, what types of lesson plans they could have for it. And that is that. Now, gift books. This is what people usually buy for their family to gift them, give them presents as we call them in the UK. You can create different types of gift books. Anything to do with hobbies and people's passions will sell well. Log books for hobbies and professions. One of my greatest sellers, in fact, I have two really good sellers in two different niches. And one of them is a log book that is for a very niche down hobby, but a very passionate hobby. And then my other is a puzzle book and it's a certain type of word search again very niched down but they sell well throughout the year but especially at December they are huge in December because they are bought as gifts for family members in fact in one of the reviews for the logbook that I'm talking about one of them actually says my uncle Stephen loved it so there you see it was bought for a family member again Activity books, yet again, yes, I am mentioning this niche. Are you getting it? Activity books are very popular. Why? Because grandparents can buy them as gifts for their grandchildren. Aunts and uncles can buy them for their nieces and nephews. In fact, kids can buy them for their parents if you do adult activity books. And again, they take in different forms and shapes. You can mix them up with all different types of puzzles and different activities, or you can do it as a single thing, like a Sudoku book, a travel Sudoku book, or a word search book, or a dot to dot book. Spot the difference, hidden pictures, I'm saying them all. And then again, cookery books. People like themed cookery books, like coffee flavoured food. People love coffee cake. I don't know. I'm not really into coffee, but there could probably be a coffee dessert book out there or dessert books. Also slimming books. They seem to do well around Christmas. Goal planners. 
these are another great book not just for gifts but also at christmas coming up for the new year people want to start with new goals 2021 they'll want it to be different what have they got set in their mind a five-year goal plan a 10-year goal plan a three-month goal plan a 30-day challenge goal plan think outside of the box when you're doing your research see if there is a market there if there is go for it because if there is a huge amount of competition you can still go for it if your book stands out gag notebooks i have to show you some of these right is a gag notebook it's quite rude cooking with semen a hundred dis- delicious recipes inappropriate funny joke book decides as a real paper book gag novelty gift what I don't like about it is this six by nine. You should not put them into your description. Uh, you can put them in your description. You cannot put them in your subtitles and your titles. Some books, if they weren't, if this wasn't selling as well, would probably have been kicked back. But look at this. Look at the the rating, and that's just last thirty days, all time. Really did well over the Christmas period down there went up and then back down again and all it is is a cover with a funny thing and a notebook that is all it is and it has got 11 ratings yeah a couple of three hours i don't think it's got any reviews to tell you what people think but it's got ratings anything like that is popular and it does sell so the next book we're looking at is joke books Joke books, you can create them for any audience. You can do it either for kids or for adults. And this is a joke book for early learning. If is for fart, a rhyming ABC children's book about farting animals. And they've done it for both Kindle and paperback. Now, the reason why they can do it for Kindle is because it doesn't need to be written in. Remember, anything that needs to be written in paperback only so if you're doing a cookery book you can do kindle and paperback so here we go this is what it is a is for antelope antelope mostly live in vast grasslands and their fart sounds like out of tune brass bands you know they're brilliant honey badgers so fierce it's not funny bees hide from their farts and lose their honey so it's just a nice funny rhyming fantastic book and it has really done really well because kids love farting in fact adults do in fact they reduced the price it was 12 is it 12 dollars no they reduced it down to six dollars so that might be why it's dropped down and doing really well and they've got done a series as well so these are really good you can hear i'm laughing and it's number one in different and it's 558 now if you do a calculation of how many books it's selling let me just go back and hang on go back and have a look at that 558 558 i'm going to change it to paperback because that was the one i was looking at calculate sales 3290 sales and it's only 54 pages so the print cost is not going to be that high. They're probably making about two dollars ten on the paperback. I wonder if the sales rank is different on Kindle. Yeah, sales rank is usually different on Kindle. It's several hundred thousand. I think it was two hundred and seventy-one. Fifty-one. Two hundred and fifty-one. These sales figures sometimes are vastly overcalculated. So they're still selling 48 books in the Kindle, um, making $2 on the 48 and probably making just over $2 on, in fact, ebook 35. So it's probably making $2 on that, but 513 as a book. So $2 on that making quite a bit of money on that so joke books really popular anything to do with 
farting, cursing, humping, yes, grumpy monkey, or oh, anything like that. So let's have a look here. So joke, colouring books. It's over a thousand, but monster farts, cat butt, pooping animals, farting magical. Silly jokes for kids. Any of these very, very popular cheesy dad jokes. Yeah, that's not selling really well. But that, the try not to laugh challenge. Anything in that sort of theme. So that's popular because it's people who hate Trump. There'll be people who love Trump. So you could do the opposite. Well, that is the top five. Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, diaries and gift books. Remember that most of these are aimed at quarter four, but some of them can be evergreen, like log books for hobbies. They can be evergreen. Even Halloween books are evergreen. People like steampunks, gothic. They like to be frightened, horrific books. There was even a coloring book on serial killers. Yes, I kid you not. Christmas, it is coming up very quickly and people are already planning their Christmas. They're wanting their diaries as well. Thanksgiving again, might not be the same this year, same with Halloween with trick-or-treating, but people still want these sorts of things. I did promise you a six niche and this is it. Trending niches, there's all different ones. Some of these are popular, some of them might need a little help, but things like log books for workplaces. Now, I've put cleaning, attendance and maintenance because at the moment cleaning, people need to be over doubling with the cleaning and attendance in certain restaurants and cafes and different places especially in the UK we are doing something called track and trace so if somebody becomes infected with COVID they need to ring the different places where they need to state that they were so this track and trace so a lot of cafes haven't got an app or anything like that so they ask you to write down on a notepad well, if there was a book for people to write in, then that's where their information can be stored. That might help. So maintenance as well, property maintenance, rental maintenance, any sort of thing for that. A business log book, basically. And then other pop popular trends is swearing and curse word books. And you see these in all kinds of niches, including colouring and activities like swearing curse word searches. Look at them, try them emulate them you can only hope that your books will do well and then cute picture books for adults yes adults also like looking at cute pictures so look at all the people that look at the cat youtube videos and dog youtube videos a perfect gift as a cute picture book those are the trending niches thank you for watching if you have any questions go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right hand side there are some training and review videos. If you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.